W is the tape machine. Yeah, to be honest. No. I don't have that kind of technology in my shop. Well, see here I am doing it now. See, uh, I'm not going to have to paint that thing, am I? I hope not. Man, I fucking hope not either, because then it's not. Then you know, it's it'd be a pain in the ass, but it's not going to be fair to my friend Pete if I have to paint it. That's why you're here with your friend and all your shit, using my paper machine, bud. So I'm going to put one piece on it, and then you're going to do the rest of it, see? So then you're going to come over here, and basically, just like I said, you see how I'm doing that right there? Taping for the tape. Jim here kind of fucked up. He's got grease all over his hands and he touched it. So what that will do, that's going to fuck us up. What do you got, dude? You got it? Some, uh, Let me see your hand, buddy. You got... yeah. Exactly. How can you fucking be a mechanic and paint it so you can't? Well, that's a that's why I don't do mechanic work. You should have worn some gloves. Uh, right? Yeah, actually, that's why I got rubber gloves on. So what we got to do, we got to get some scotch bright, see? Or actually, what did you sand that with, Jim? I sanded it with a uh, clean 400 grit after removing the uh, wax. Okay, come over here, bud. Over here. Do 
Tear a piece of that off. That's 320. See, wet, wet sandpaper won't do it. Now we got to get the dry out. There you go. Fold it in half or whatever you got to do. And then we're going to have to scuff all those marks off because then you're going to have fish on it. And then you're really going to be pissed because you know what's going to happen. See, now that I'm the teacher here, you're going to blame it on me because you're going to tell everybody, well, he was showing me how to do it and he didn't fucking tell me, right? So now you take your sandpaper. We don't want to remove this stuff first because won't we sand it into the paint? Look, bud. Come on right up. No, it won't sand into the paint. See there? Did you buy some sealer by any chance? Sealer? You don't have no sealer? Wow. Yeah, you got to put sealer on those bare spots there. See right there? Did you get the bare spots on your other part? I actually hit the bare spots with some uh, extra base coat and then sanded that down. Yeah, you're lucky it didn't blister. Yeah. You're lucky it didn't blister and leave rounds. So Pete's got to give you some sealer, bud. Okay, our edges are clean. Take your paper and go underneath and get that edge, see? That's why you do the edges, bud, to ensure that the paint won't peel off. Just kind of go real quick, you know? You don't have to do it slow. And if you got grease on your hands, don't touch your fucking head, okay? I see some more grease spots up here we're going to have to take off anyway. We're going to go ahead and give it a quick sweep down. We're going to put some water on the floor, and I think we're ready, Jim. You got a bug sprayer for water? Bug sprayer? I got a fucking bucket, dude. I pour some water in. This is manual labor around here, bud. Okay. Well, Let's get that berm and get that trash. All right, get that swept out, and we'll be back, bro. Okay? Listen, hold on, bud. Is that really going to fucking cut it there? Come on, dude. Let's get Where's the fucking dustpan, bud. Over here, man. Look. There's a dustpan on it. Down there. There you go. And where's the fucking rest of it? Come on in here. There's a yellow broom you can Man, bud. There it is, over there. All right, we'll be back when we get ready to do everything else. Everybody knows, okay, what we got to do here to speed things up. We're going to go over our hood. We're going to put some water on the floor. Then we're going to put sealer on it. And then Jim is going to attempt to paint his own fucking hood without Pete's fucking help. Let me say it again. Without Pete's help, and Pete will not be touching the spray gun except to adjust it. That's it. Take it easy. We'll see you when Jim starts to paint. Remember one thing, Jim. What's that? Silver leaves a lot of streaks in the paint, dude. That's what I understand. Okay. It's a I'm hard color. I'm going to get my tripod out because now we got to teach everybody how to do this. <laughs> this well. is a lesson for everybody. I'm so ready. I'm glad you came over, bud. It's right. hot today, dude. It is. I'm sweating. I would have done okay. my hair if I knew I was going to be on the right? I got some gear. I'm okay. okay. I'm ready to paint. Okay. All right. Okay, we already mixed up Jim's paint. What are you doing, bud? Go ahead and pour some in there. Come on. How much do you want to use? I don't care. It's got a whole Ounces? fucking core. Well, about that much. About 10? Uh, about about 10? What do you want? Here, look, bud. Go right here. See the little mark here? Okay. Go up to a two right there, bud. To the two. All right. Watch your hand now. Don't. Okay. That's good enough. Now, get that reducer right there, that 870. The 870 reducer right there. Look. Big can. Yes. Go now, take your floor? screwdriver. Take your screwdriver and pop the lid off. Just pop it off, bud. Then you're going to go up to about the four or five. Now go up to about six. We're going to make this a little. That's thick paint, dude. That's better paint. That's Deltrine, see? Goes a lot farther. I'm going to put a little bit more reducer than you did paint, bud. Go up to about six on there. Right here. Keep going. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Well, that's okay. Now what you want to do is go ahead and mix that thoroughly. And before you do that, look. Take a half a cap full of that. Pour it in there because we don't want no fish eye from you jacking around with it, see? Just a half cap full. Is that fish eye reducer? Yeah, DX. So. Okay, now mix, get your stick out of your paint there. Go ahead and mix that up. There you go. Mix it up real good, thoroughly. That's some paint. That's why I said, see, Deltron, Deltron's a lot better than Omni. Omni's like water, that's why we're going to go ahead and put a coat of this on first, see? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do you a square, bud. I'm going to go ahead and paint the first coat of paint and set your gun. Okay. Make sure you watch me very, very good how I'm doing that. Because the way that I hold it and the way I spray it is how you have to do it where you don't get streaks. Do you understand? I got it. So you're going to be right there at that window with the camera right up next to that window so we can show everybody. Okay? And 
when you when you're filming, make sure you look in the little screen here. Okay, dude, don't look at me. You can watch me through the screen just like you're watching. That's good, dude. Where's your spray gun? Get your spray gun right there. Go ahead and screw the lid on it. Put it on the stand over there. See the stand, the HVLP stand. Is your gun clean, Jim? Yeah. Is it at least okay? Let's go ahead and screw that on there. You don't have a stand at home, I presume. I got box. You don't have a stand for your spray gun. Wow. Yeah, we're winging it. Screw it on there tight, bud. There you go. Now stick it in the stand. That isn't how it goes, bud. What the fuck? Look how it is. Look how it is. Turn it around. Turn your gun around the other way. There you go. Let go, bud. Jeez. That's nice, ain't it? I like that. You'd like to have one of those, wouldn't you? Even though you didn't know how to fucking use it. All right, get your lid off of here, bud. See, that's even got a swivel. You go. Now stick it in the stand. That isn't how it goes, but what the fuck? Look how it is, look how it is. Turn it around. Turn your gun around the other way. There you go. Let go, bud. Jeez. Jeez. That's nice, ain't it? I like that. You'd like to have one of those, wouldn't you? Even though you didn't know how to fucking use it. All right, get your lid off of here, bud. See, that's even got a swivel. Now, get the... Okay, we need a funnel. See, you always want to use a strainer, bud. You know why? Because there's always little micro mesh trash in your paint and you want it. Look, bud, we got a problem here, bud. You got that paint open. If you hit that paint, it's going to go all over the floor and splash on the 68 Dodge. We don't want that. No. Okay, now can you get a rag before you do that? Go ahead. Okay, that's why I keep my old paint, see, for stuff like this, bud. That's a good idea. That's, uh, that way you don't have to buy a lot of paint and you just use the used paint as your first coat. Now go ahead and pour our paint, the paint that I'm giving you. Go ahead and pour it in there. And this is a lesson. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. Does that lid leak when you turn it sideways? A lot of sedas leak. I'm gonna show you how to fix it so it doesn't oh, leak. Your gun's, gun's leaking. Your gun's leaking. Wow, all over my fucking paint tail. Can you hold my camera, Jim, and we'll go ahead and fix that. How's Stand that? Stand over there, bud. Why are we leaking paint out of your gun, bud? What's going on with that? That isn't a good... I probably don't have the, uh, don't have the, the nozzle, nozzle on. There. You don't have the needle in there, bud. Where is the needle, Jim? Do you even have a needle for it? Take that out. Oh, you took the nozzle out to clean your. Okay, look, it's not screwed on tight. There's some problems, see? You're not paying attention to what you're doing, bud. Are Getting you? in too much of a hurry here. Well, I'm trying to show you. This is my job. <laughs> this is what I do, see? Follow me. 